Well, I became uh, a Jesuit right after high school. So I did all my university studies uh, as a Jesuit. And I was doing them, both the philosophy and the theology, often at the same time, or, you know, uh, pari passu, as we would say, with um, my scientific, uh, my scientific work, pari passu, with my philosophy and theology. And so in some way, all my studies from the very beginning were integrated. And I became very interested in the sciences uh, from when I was in high school and then was given the opportunity to study them um, as a Jesuit and was encouraged to do so. And um, I really don't see any uh, incompatibility uh, between being a priest and a religious uh, and being a scientist at the same time. Um, I think that um, doing science is one very important way of, um, of praying and praising God. Um, in doing science, you, you are contemplating the mysteries of God's creation, which very definitely um, is a contemplation of God, God's self. And um, at the same time, in doing it, we are also um, witnessing to people all around that, um, that knowledge is a very sacred and valuable thing and uh, that it's intrinsically worthwhile. And um, um, it's a, a commitment to, to truth, just as um, a person who studies philosophy or theology or history is also interested in revealing the truth and, and finding out more about the universe. Uh, we are finding out more about ourselves, about uh, God as um, creator and redeemer, and about our relationship with um, everything around us and with God. So I think um, it's always been an apostolate of the church, not just of Jesuits, to, to do this sort of work. Um, it's linked with education, but it's also um, research work that is a, a valid apostolate, a, a valid um, Christian work in its own right.